Welcome to DevCap, a series where you get a quick recap of what happened in the dev stream. I'm your host, Creepy Banana, and let's get started. If you've been waiting for an update to come back to Foxhole 4 in case you're sort of taking a break, this is not the update. Bunch of liars, dude. This update is amazing, and it adds highly requested features, such as the rotating crane hook. It will help with organizing container fields without having to fiddle around with the positioning of the crane, and also finally have crane blade blade battles. Also, CV drivers now operate the construction action rather than having a different seat for it. Walls are now more in line with sandbags and barbed wire, allowing dynamic scaling and hopefully prettier bases. There's also a vehicle seat selection menu for those who still can't figure out that left is driver's seat and right is gunner's seat. Finally, gravity has been discovered in SIVA. No more floating vehicles and tripods. These items have lost the blessings of the gods and now shall fall. Joking aside though, this is very cool because, well, it was kind of immersion breaking when this would happen. And don't get me started on the amount of dicking around you had to do to get those items out of the air. Maybe if I stand here. Oh, we got it! We. <laughs> Absolutely. Bro, I'm a fucking wizard. You know? You know how it is. I'm a fucking wizard. The number of unstuck commands has been increased for the homies who still don't know how to drive. Bro, why is parking so hard in this game? Just park like real life, bro. How do you park you this in real life? Like, no, yeah. Okay, I'll do it. Shells hitting the ground don't just magically fade out of existence, now there's a cool VFX for it. Also speaking of explosions, the old heavy weapons animation is replaced with a cooler one. Watchtowers and crates are getting a new skin, don't even have to unlock them in loot boxes? How generous! Now there's also some boring and frankly, unwanted changes coming, such as Increasing the refinery storage capacity? Increasing factory queues and hold times? Also adding a new category to the factory? The heavy munitions? And oh my god, you also have to travel less because you can see a factory queue on the map now? Wow, another method for streamers to release intel to the enemy? <sighs> Devs, nobody wanted this. There's also some new stuff for stockpiles and bunker reservations, but I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I have no clue what this means. I just play tankette, so I'll let the devs talk here. And now there's a single button you can push, which is the refresh reserve stockpile action. When you click that button, it refreshes all the reserve stockpiles that you have um, in that storage depot. And this allows you with a single button click, you can reserve all the bunkers that are attached to the bunker island right or anything that's part of that singular bunker um so in this case you see the screenshot you hit the button it, it gives you feedback too stockpile retrieve time so <clears throat> this is another point of feedback um that nah dude this that doesn't matter dude of some of these things we just haven't take, taken a look at that it. doesn't matter you just need a cancel button dude so like fuck matter. me dude all we need is a cancel button, dude. In terms of retrieve times, that being a frustrating point, this next feature I'm really excited about. It's a, it's oh. one of those things where you wonder oh. why this hasn't been in the game since forever, but you can now cancel your stockpile retrieval. So that point How? when you clicked on the what wrong thing and you end up having to wait 10, Finally, 20, dude. 30 seconds for it. Another tool has been added to allow players to more accurately determine if a player is alting. Hopefully, this will help with false allegations and catching more losers who ruin the game. Server restarts have been worked on as well. The devs claim that there will be less and they'll happen on a predictable schedule. Um, can can I get a look at, at that schedule? I'm uh, asking for a friend. Now for all who don't believe there's a clear dev bias, look at this screen. Read some of these things and now look what they say here. I've noticed a lot of these gifts are warden biased, so <laughs> all these changes only coming to the warden. Co Colonials still have to suffer, actually. That's, yeah, yeah. That's the burden that they bear. Yeah, no I just, this is a warden that. exclusive feature, guys. I'm yeah. just letting you know. Jokes <laughs> aside, here's some more game balance and bug fixes. 
Um, feel free to pause and read these. I'm not going to go down the list. Um, I'm trying to keep this video short and uh, I, I can't read. Players can be a part of multiple squads now, up to four, allowing better assignments of reservations and communication. But all I see here is more squad locks. I think I finally have to join a clan. Also, is there any clan in the market for a tank at main? Now let's see the new toys, or some old ones that have been added again. Smoke grenades, previously removed because the rogue class in the game became too powerful and would be able to sneak past the fences destroying key targets. Well, smoking is back, boys, but it's different. It still makes you invisible to other players, but AI can still target you. However, their accuracy is severely diminished. The launchable HE grenade, just as the name suggests. It's a la launchable HE grenade. But launch from what you say? Well, grenade launchers are back, boys. Now with all things in Foxhole, the old and frankly better equipment becomes warden only and the new and let's say special equipment is colonial only. The Kali grenade launcher, a primary weapon that can launch the new launchable HE grenades, smoke grenades and green ash grenades. Whereas the Warden Grenade Launcher is attached to a rifle and can launch the launchable HE grenades, the Harpa nades, and of course, Green Ash grenades. Also, there's two new uniforms for both factions. First off, we have the Officer's uniform. Now, these are purely for roleplay. They can only be worn by officers and commanders of regiments, and they give you the ability to team kill members of your own regiment without getting a penalty. And now, the Heavy Armor. Police get the flak fest that makes you look like a coast guard. It reduces small arms damage by 33%, reduces the chance to bleed by 75%, it has 3 inventory slots and gives you 40% encumbrance. Wardens go full medieval because gunpowder was famously beaten by plate armor. It reduces small arms damage by 50%, reduces bayonet and melee damage by 60%, Reduces the chance to bleed by 25%, it has 3 inventory slots, but it gives you 60% encumbrance. Now for some reason the Warden one is better than the modern counterpart, so uh, it has a higher logistical requirement than the Kali one. So uh, take that Warden's dev bias. Now you might think it's over, but I saved the best for last. Barges have horns now, boys! It's happening! This is the first step to Battle Barge. Battle Barge! Yeah, everybody fall down once. Yeah, every lugger fall down once. Yeah, everybody fall down once. Yeah, every lugger fall down once. Hold it when it come. It ain't gonna stay when it drop it when it fall down. Pick that shit up. Hold it when it come. It ain't gonna stay when it drop it when it fall down. Pick that shit up.